This is GABNET, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're trying the ramble one more time, ladies and gentlemen. Major technical problems tonight, but I think we've got it solved. Say hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Okay, there they are. Oh, man, I'm telling you. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I got to show you guys and uh, put you up. Okay, there right. you are. It had nothing to do. It had nothing to do with the new equipment. Well, look, it, it's just it had to do with Zoom. Okay, really. In the end, it was Zoom. I couldn't figure out why I was getting your audio, uh, but anyway, we're we're all set and we're going here. Let me see if I, if we're actually uh, we. Oh no, you know what we got to do? What I got to re. I got to. I'm not going to restart it, but I've got to do something here and. Uh, 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 do a, a thing here and say here go live okay and then I'm going to take schedule stream and then I'm going to reuse settings and then I'm going to next and then I'm going to do this and that time next okay off I said monetize on damn it next next Okay, next, uh, we want to go public, and we want to go now, and here we here we go. Okay, let me see here. Is this going? Okay, let me see here. Um, I'm just trying to figure out if we're if we're going to be going at all. Uh, all right. Let me see here. Uh, oh come on! I'm so tired of this stuff. Upcoming, it says. Okay, I've got to stop the streaming. All right. Okay, and now I'll start the streaming. Okay, and let's see what happens. Okay, uh, is it uh, is it playing? Uh, let me see here. Uh, let me see. Are we are we live? No, we're not live. Hmm. Son of a bitch! I'm trying to. I got to stop streaming again. Okay, it'll say here. Okay, God, now I'll start streaming. Okay. Okay, so now we're streaming. Let's do this. No, son of a bitch. Why isn't it doing it? Hmm. I'm trying to, there we go. There we go, it should be, oh wow. Come on, Jesus almighty. I'm stopping it again. And then I'm gonna start streaming again. Waiting for GabNet, okay, there we go. Now I'm streaming, come on. A June 15th, 1.25 p.m. waiting for Gab, there we, there there we go. go. Now I'm streaming. Okay, we are come up on. and we have audio. And yeah. we're gonna mute, 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 mute site. Mute there. site. There we. Okay. Are you all there? Uh, we are. <laughs> I I think so. it'd be nice if somebody can confirm it on the chat. Yeah. Uh, if uh, somebody wants to confirm it on the chat, but who knows? Who knows if they're still there? You know. Yeah. Well. Uh, you know, the funny thing is, uh, one thing had which uh, was streaming for 51 minutes had 135 views and uh, i i can't tell which one's the actual one because you put up a couple of them yeah on youtube oh are there quite a few up on youtube yeah so i don't know which one to watch uh to see if it's i would assume the one says 26 well minutes. if you just go to go to um go to gabnet uh, okay and and you go to that and uh right. there you can see if it's working or not okay all right Go to Gab. Yeah, right? because we got a special announcement tonight, but I don't want to do it if we're not going out. A special announcement? 
Yeah. Okay. Now I see. Um, I see the thing. Let's see uh, if if. I can tell oh, you. Yeah, it, it's working. Okay. Yeah, it's on it, YouTube. I've got both sound and picture on YouTube. Yeah. Okay. Here's a pro it, here was what the problem was. There's a little thing. You know, I got I got this new machine and I right. I installed it and it's been working fine. It's been working terrifically, but occasionally there's a little bell or whistle you didn't click on or something to get it ready. This wasn't a problem with the machine or even the programs that I use here to get us on. What it was, this is, uh, it was YouTube. I mean, not Zoom. Because uh -huh. Zoom, I didn't have the right audio settings. Ah. So, which they should be right because I was using them the other day when I was recording somebody. So, you know. Well, uh, uh, well I'm glad it's working now. I, I know you were frustrated by that. Uh, yeah. But, uh, you know, I was going to tease this in the first half hour, but uh, now instead of teasing it, I'm going to I'm going to say it. Uh, Tony has told me that he wants to come out and he wants to come out on the show and he wants to come out to you. And so, uh, you know, without further ado, let's uh, let's have Tony say what he's got to say. I'm gonna OK. It's kind of hard for me to say this. Okay. Yeah. So I'll just kind of get it out there. Yeah. I'm Team Trump now, 100%. What is say it again. wrong with you? What is wrong with <laughs> you? I knew he was going to say that. I knew how I was going to say that. Did you hit your head on the tombstone or something? What's going on with you? I I can't take the Biden administration. I think it was the, the tipping point was the $11 okay. a pound for the oh, cherry. Okay. Oh. Uh, okay. You can't look. Let me let me uh, tell you something here now. You cannot, to begin with, you can't blame a lot of that. You can't blame the prices on, on Biden. You can maybe blame him for not taking the correct action to correct the problem, but not the problem itself. Secondly, when you go out to vote, you're not voting for president. You're voting for senators. You're voting for congressmen. They have nothing to do with Biden. They have no control over Biden. Biden doesn't really have any control over them. So what you're voting for are good people who are going to do the right job for you. And if, and you, vote for, if you vote for any of those Republicans running in New York State, you're a moron. What did I tell you? <laughs> I, 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 would say, I can't take the Biden administration. No, but you, it, it has nothing to do with the Biden administration. Don't you understand? You're voting for senators and congressmen many of whom don't agree with Biden. For instance, Ocasio-Cortez doesn't agree with Biden, you know, and she's a hardcore Democrat. So the point I'm making is, is that, yeah. in fact, I was gonna say tonight in our little discussion, and I'm, oh, I'm so woozy now, jeez, from all of this. Well, you know, the world is not right if Tony is going to go yeah, Republican. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I didn't say Republican, Alex. I just feel I'm an independent. No, well, then don't don't vote for Biden. Don't vote for Biden. But uh, I, I, I was afraid to tell you this, but you know what it is, Alex? I'm so disenfranchised with him. What do you mean so disenfranchised like with him? Like the way, just the way he comes across, like he doesn't, it seems well, look, like. Look, I'm going to tell you something right now, Tony. Yeah. You can vote for any of those Republicans, and it ain't going to get better. I mean, I agree. I feel okay, like it ain't going to get better. I, I just I like think because if Biden's incapable of handling it, they don't know how to handle it at all. At least in a way that will be good for you. I okay. Mean, I don't even know. He's well, what's your beef? Uh, what's your beef, Tony? Is, is it is it the Cher gas? Cher no, you don't drive. The price but, of, uh, the price well, of cherries has gone driving. up. Mm -hmm. Food. He doesn't eat other than the Chinese place down the yeah. street. Yeah. Well, it's they're the stock market, right? More, Alan. They're not even getting bigger. They're charging me more for getting less. Yeah, you know, that's what they're saying is that you, you go to buy certain packages food. of food and they've shrunk it. But, it's yeah. called shrinkflation. Oh, by the way, uh, turn your mic down a little bit there, Phil. Now. It's a little bit hot. Uh, mm. uh, is it's, that better? It, it, it's right. called deflation. Yeah. Uh, well, and, and shrinkflation. I, but but you know, I, all I'm no, saying is, and I and I was going to say this tonight that I honestly I don't think that when it comes to the fall, 
that mm. uh, the Democrats are going to lose many seats, if any at all. And let me explain the reason why. Number one, everybody is saying how they're going to. So if right. you don't think that rallies Democrats to get out and vote, nothing will do it except something like that. Let that let let Roe versus Wade be reversed, okay? Uh, and you are going to find people going out in amazing amounts to vote against Republicans. I don't think it's going to get reversed. Charlie's got his hand up. Yes, uh, no. yes. Uh, it, well, it's people right. have been paying attention. Uh, the Republicans have let it be known that if they regain control of Congress this fall, they will be cutting Medicare and Social Security. Oh, they've been crying about that no, for the last 50 said years. That. McConnell said that. That guy, Scott from Senator Scott from Florida, said it. That the Republicans, if they get back in power, they have said. Their number one priority is going to be cutting Social Security and Medicare. I, I don't know, know where you're I gotta hearing tell you, that. I got to tell you something. Uh, Listen to what they're saying. They can try all I they do. want I to. They, they can promise that all they want to, but you really can't uh, uh, reverse uh, Social Security because people have paid into it. That's it's right. not like it's a government handout, okay? And and so consequently. Uh, to say we're going to get rid of Social Security. Why? You hate old people? Is that what that's yeah, about? they hate old people. Well, <laughs> Alan, says, Alan says the same thing I have. I haven't heard that except by some, you know, extremists that want to discredit the, the, the right. Go, go, go Google Rick Scott and, and, and Sunset. Rick Scott, the senator? Yes. Rick yes. Scott or Rick Tim Scott? Scott and Sunset Social Security. You'll see the speech he made. He was on TV making that speech, and they, it's actually out there on YouTube. You can watch and hear him say, we're going to sunset Social Security and Medicare. That gives us five more years, and then they're gone. Well, he's got an 11-point plan. Yeah. Uh, and let's see, uh, to rescue points. America. Um, I, don't, I don't see anything. Uh, somebody says that his plan uh, backtracks and is still MAGA madness. Um, uh, uh, oh, he's talking about dropping a toxic minimum tax proposal. Uh, if, if that's... Uh, let's uh, let's well, see. Well, can... go read it and then come back tomorrow right. or something and read, tell us what it says. Don't yeah. try to read it now I and read it now, yeah. parse it to us. All right. But the point I'm making, I'm, the point I'm making, Tony, is that I know I'm just as frustrated by Biden as you are. Okay, but you know I'm not voting for any damn Republican to solve this problem. I, I quite frankly, I really don't want to vote for anybody to solve this problem because I think they're incapable of it, whether they're Republicans or Democrats. I mean, it's it's like then I just feel I think I'm just totally frustrated with everything. It's like it just seems like they're not doing anything. Well, they're not, you know, I mean, but, 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 but you have to blame that on a, on a roadblock that has happened. And, and I will blame the Republicans more than I will the Democrats, but they're both playing games here and they're not willing to give in to each other or to concede with each other. And that's what's causing the problems. Yes, Phil. Uh, well, it looks like uh, Charlie's got half the story. Uh, quickly, it says if we're fortunate enough to have the majority next year, I'll be in the I'll be the majority leader. Uh, I'll decide in consultation with my members to put on the floor. Uh, let me tell you what will not be on our agenda. We will not have part of our agenda a bill that raises taxes on half the American people and sunsets Social Security and Medicare within five years. That will not be part of the Republican and who, and who Senate majority that? agenda. Who Rick said, Scott. Rick Scott. Yeah, so I'm Open telling him you, go to 15s on TV. If you want to Google that, you can see. Yeah, it. well, I'm, I'm telling you, I okay. just read his okay. quote. Phil, Phil, how many times? Yeah. How many times do politicians keep their promises? Never. Well, then why do we sit well, here well, arguing did. about what their promises are? Or aren't Trump kept every promise that he made? Well, he he did, promised didn't he? to ruin the country, promised to get people sick and dying. Yeah. Well, well, he promised to he, he, he promised Alan. he promised to great the country. I he think he promised that Mexico was going to pay for his wall. When did he keep that promise? Yeah. 
Oh, well, he didn't finish it yet. Uh, Phil, Phil, <laughs> Phil, let me ask you this. You know, and, and I'm, I know you're probably going to say, well, you know, these guys who are holding these hearings are, you know, all a bunch of assholes and they're out to get Trump and so on and so forth. Yeah. But they aren't the only ones who are involved in this. People like Bill Barr are coming forward. Somebody who you would have a couple of years ago told me was a great guy. And we're lucky to have him as attorney. General. I, I think he is a great guy. He also said that he didn't see uh, any criminal convictions on Trump uh, uh, to come out of these uh, hearings. And Tony, Tony said, what did, what did what you say you about just, these what did hearings, you just Tony? Say? Didn't Barr didn't him. say that. Yes, he did. What did he say exactly? Uh, he said that uh, he was being interviewed. Wait a minute, look who I'm asking to say something exactly. Go ahead, well, Phil. Look, he was being interviewed on Fox News the other morning, and they and he said, in my opinion, I don't feel that there will be any criminal charges coming out from these hearings uh, uh, against Trump. But he, and I would probably maybe agree with that, because there is a reason there won't be any, because they can't make criminal accusations against Trump. Well, All they can uh, do is turn the material over that they have gotten to the Justice Department. It's up to the Justice Department to do it. Well, he doesn't see Trump being uh, being prosecuted. I don't, I don't either. But right. not because he isn't guilty, but because right. uh, nobody's got the guts to goddamn do it, you know? Well, Charlie, I sent you the, uh, I sent you the quote you talked about. Did you read it? No, I haven't seen a quote from you. Oh, I'm, I'm uh, it's, it's on your right now that, that shows Rick Scott actually saying what I said he said. I don't know what what's the date on what you're saying because this is. Uh, I, I I only copied and pasted the part that had uh, to do with what you're talking about. It's on your uh, Facebook Messenger. Well, and, I will send you the link to this article. Okay. That that says don't I'm don't hurt me with that link. <laughs> So Tony, yes. uh, now you you've said that you if Trump ran you'd vote for him, right? I think I would, yeah. All right. So uh, now you, you also had a, you were beefing about your stocks, Excuse giving me, back folks. all the all you know, the money. I think, I think like even with that court hearing, right? If they don't have anything on him to prosecute him, I mean, it's almost like we're doing wag the dog. The country's falling apart. And we have a thing, and we're playing. Like, it's not. They're not working. It's almost like I want to keep a narrative going. Did you of, say, Tony? It's a kangaroo court. I think it is a little bit. I think it's. I think it's a production, really. Now, I mean, yeah. this is a year and a half. Well, you know, I if Tony, uh, I I think that the, what they're presenting is pretty damning evidence. That do I think he? Well, wait a minute. Let me, let me finish, Tony. Oh, yeah, yeah. Pretty damning evidence against Trump. Okay, that the guy, if nothing more is a megalomaniac all right at least that's the picture i get of him and i and you know you're hearing from people like bill barr you're hearing from kushner you're hearing from ivanka okay who are all saying they tried to tell him otherwise but he was you know he's too he's got a he's got a real he's got real problems and and when he's the head of a country you don't want those kind of problems, the president, to have that kind of ego problems. He's a bad manager. He doesn't know how to hire, get a hold of the right people to do the right job. He's really terrible. He was there simply for his own ego, and this whole current thing about the big lie is to satisfy his ego. Do you want a guy like that in office? Are you out of your mind? He will not. He will never leave if he gets back in office. That's right. He tried to rig it this time. You know, Bill, time. Bill Maher this week was saying oh. that, uh, you know, they're saying, well, he really tried not to leave office. And uh, everybody was so surprised that he would try that. And he said, I wonder who said he was going to do it. And then he ran a whole montage of every time he had ever said, I don't believe Trump is going to leave office easily. Okay. Well, self-fulfilling prophecy. Wish fulfilling a prophecy. Uh, you, the people that said he wasn't going to leave office. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a you Trump know? fulfilling prophecy. Well, I'm saying know, that didn't Trump, make me want to stay. Trump did everything he promised he would do, including uh, he didn't promise everything. No, he didn't promise everything he'd do. Come on. Yeah. 
Uh, you know, he was. He, he would his... not be happy with the. He would not make money on the tax relief bill that he passed, and it was exactly the opposite. All the rich and everybody made money, and the, and the rest of us have to pay more taxes. Well, you know, uh, the middle class and uh, more entry level people paid a lot less taxes. You don't think that the inflation that we're suffering now is a tax on the poor and the middle class? What? The, the inflation. No, that no, it's not paying. a tax. Phil, Phil, the inflation we're feeling, okay, and can I be very honest with you, comes from a cup for a couple of reasons. Number one, there are external reasons. The war in Ukraine certainly has taken its toll. We're gas. Wait a minute, let me finish. Where gas is concerned, and so on and so forth. Uh, so far as prices uh, going up on food, and so on and so forth, I've got to tell you, these are businesses gouging Americans. Yes. Okay. And what we need to do is start going after these money gougers. The reason your cherries are so high, Tony, isn't Biden's fault. It isn't the Democrats' fault. It isn't even the Republicans' fault. It's the fault of people who are gouging. Just like we use the excuse about, uh, oh, well, gee, we aren't, we aren't able to handle that problem right now because, you know, there's COVID out there. And COVID was, this, was an excuse for everything. This is now an excuse for the worst possible reason, and that's raising prices on everything. And, 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 the, and the, oh. gas, the, gasoline, the gas producers are, are gouging us. Everybody is gouging us. They're taking advantage of what looks like a, a, a recession and raising prices on everything and making windfall profits. Exactly. Well, that's what Biden is saying, but the, uh, you know, well, there, I mean, he's saying it because it's, tr it's true, and, Phil. And instead of instead of being able to uh, refine gas and uh, and oil in the United States, we're having to import that gas and oil bullshit. from other countries. That is that's bullshit. We make more than enough oil in this country we are the number one oil producing country in the entire fucking world in fact, we were one, under trump no, no, there's one. Right oh yeah now. trump was trump we under, under, under trump, trump under trump, trump under trump, trump. trump wait a minute under trump oh, phil these prices started going up okay no, when, yes they when did Biden and as a result office. of him as a result of his tariffs against china and other countries oh. and and a lot of other things uh it, 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 no Phil. China, China doesn't supply us with any fuel. This downslide in our economy started under Trump. The, 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 it, it's not that it happened during Trump. It started during Trump because many, of things he did. How many trillions of dollars did Biden uh, print and spend uh, t uh, with these uh, boondoggle giveaways? What boondoggle giveaways? Well, it's it's a number of things. Uh, you know, there was so much fraud Phil, going Phil, on in the Phil, unemployment. Phil, the federal no, unemployment. I, no, you said they were paying people Phil, not Phil, to work. Phil, Phil, listen to me. You yeah. said something, and you're not backing it up. I'm I'm trying to back no, it up. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're talking about a boondoggle. You're going over here. I want you yeah. to answer me the question. Let well, me know exactly what, what is the boondoggle. The boondoggle is. The fraud and the misuse uh, where, of what? funds. What funds? You know, the COVID funds. Most of them haven't even been spent yeah. yet. Uh, and and the. Uh, Do you think that was was that the fault of the the Democrats or the Republicans? I think it was the fault of the Democrats because oh, no, we were no, no, we were in the Phil. lockdown. No, it wasn't Phil. No, it wasn't. We were, we the were people, the people who were ripping off and getting money for COVID yeah. when they shouldn't have were just crooks. Yeah, who, you, you know, including prisoners in prison and 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 so well, where, where, forth. Where do you get that from, millions. Phil? Well, prisoners yeah, from prison, and you just uh, you try yeah, to. Yeah, they it, were collecting. They were collecting yeah, COVID yeah, no, funds. No, no. I <laughs> probably some of them were. They got sick from COVID from those goddamn Not prisons. A lot of prisoners got sick, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, so why you know, should, shouldn't they? Shouldn't they benefit from? Uh, from COVID, from the COVID thing, if they were subject to COVID, no, because they weren't losing their income. Uh, you know, they, they they were they were being housed and they were getting paid. Yes, after... uh, Alan, you want to say something? Uh, no, no. Oh, I, so, yeah, I I just wanted to say that COVID was good for businesses, uh, like Carpet One conquered. 
Yeah. Bill got a couple nice yes, things. Yes, yeah, let's talk about that, Phil. That Trump gave away. And who has yeah, to how much money? How much taxpayer? money did you get from the government uh, because of COVID? Uh, sixty thousand dollars. Oh, really? Of my money? Yes. No, well, you know, uh, it's it was printed for and me. And how how was your business? Was it impacted to the uh, tune of sixty thousand uh, dollars? Easily, yeah, yeah. But you you took that money without thinking about it, didn't you? No, because I took it. You know what that you money didn't was say, based you on? You didn't say, I don't want to be one of these people who has his hands out when the government is passing out money. You know what that money was based on? It was based on my payroll and, and having payroll during the lockdown so that people got paid whether they worked or not. And that was a reimbursement Let me ask you this. of those funds. How much of that 60000 do you still have? None of All it. All of it. What, none of it, Phil? None of it. You didn't. Uh, I bought you, some new toys with it. Did you? Did, did you? Did you put? Did, yeah. Did you put out as much uh, to your? Uh, I had did you to put, have, Did you give your employees that sixty thousand dollars? Uh, yes, including myself because I'm an employee. Ah, oh, here we go. Here but, we go. No. You know, hey, uh, my doors had to be closed to to business. Uh, and and so, employees. how did you determine how much money you were going to get paid, Phil? Well, it was my normal whatever I paid to myself and my employees is what the PPP uh, basically reimbursed us for. So, for instance, if uh, it, the PPP was based on the actual payroll for those for those months, and it wasn't all of the payroll, but it was uh, it had to be uh, done to their uh, to what their bank outline said that it had to be. And when I applied for it, it was a loan. Uh, it was forgiven uh, 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 subsequently, but by, it, by it who was, was it? By who was it forgiven? Under uh, which administration? I don't remember. Under which was, administration? <laughs> I think it was. I think it was Biden. Ah, Trump. okay. So thank right, you, thank see, you, what President Biden. Biden. Did, these businesses basically got a loan. All right, based on their payroll. And then the loan was forgiven, and that also drove up inflation and is, and is causing a lot of the problems that we're having now. I didn't do anything wrong. I just well, but, did what was but, allowed but, but, to be but done. You started out this conversation by talking about all the fraud in, 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 well, in, in, in those, hold on a second, anything. in those funds. And, uh, he, and, didn't, and, it wasn't, he didn't defraud anybody. No, we yeah. didn't defraud anybody, but you know, you were ready and willing to take that money, just like those crooks were ready and willing to take that money if they saw that it was available to them. There, there were businesses and, that really didn't qualify for that money, but got millions and millions of dollars. When did that money start being distributed? Under, under who? Um, um, under Trump, Trump, I think. Okay, so now it was being dispersed by the Trump right, people. as a loan. As a loan. Mm-hmm. So, you know, what they were going to do was you had to pay it back. I a mean, I filled out loan papers. Well, no, no, no. It turned out that way. But I filled out loan papers and it was, uh, you know, it was it was a loan at the time that I took it out. Later on, uh, they for, they forgave it, hmm. including look at all these kids that are uh, getting their uh, school loans forgiven. I believe that just recently Biden had uh, said that, uh, what, if you owed less than 10000 or uh, it was a significant amount of loans. I mean, these people that didn't pay their loans back uh, and, and they're being forgiven. There's a lot of people that paid their school loans back and they're not going to get any money back. So, you know, I don't I, want I just, any money back. What does this have to do with your business, the school loans? Well, yeah. it's it's no different. It's it's mm. these are contributing factors to why we're we we're getting well, so this inflation. They haven't given anybody's loans yet. Uh, no, that's not what I read. You read wrong. He hasn't forgiven anything yet. Well, they're talking well, about it. Okay. Well, uh, I I, I read. My kids all have loans. Yeah, and if and they, they forgive them, are you them. going are you going to uh, have your kids not take the money? That's up to them. And, and, no. and these kinds of forgiveness things, aren't they driving up inflation? Did no. forgiving the banks all their problems in 2008 drive up anything? Phil, uh, Phil yeah. It, 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 let's, it get back, let's, back to, let's get back to the actual 
All thing. right. You know, we're trying. Tony. We're doing. We're doing a. Uh, uh, what do we call it? An intervention with Tony here. Yeah, uh, yeah. I figured you'd try that. So, Tony, let him have it. I'm Tell him what kind of Republican you become. Am I live soberly red here? I don't even know yet. No, yeah, no. a little bit. Hmm. I'm an independent. Well, I told I you. I wonder that. why. I did you bite it? Yeah, no. you can independently vote for fascism if you want. Because if Trump gets back in power, we will not have a United States of America anymore. He'll declare himself emperor. Scare tactics. That's not a scare. He says he he, he admires. Kim Jong-un, or whatever his name is, and Putin, all these dictators around the world. You mean the dictators that didn't the launch any, his name Charlie, is, the dictators him. that didn't launch any nuclear weapons, the the, the guy who didn't invade Phil, Phil, Ukraine. Phil, 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 those t dictators weapons. didn't launch <laughs> those weapons under, under uh, Obama either, no. or under Bush. Oh, that's not oh. true. Under Obama, Kim Jong-un was... Uh, was launching missiles all the time. No, he was testing he, missiles. He was testing, testing. and none of those missiles. And none of them were nuclear. nuclear. None of them were nuclear. Uh, no, there was some nuclear. No, there launched. were no nuclear. There film. were no nuclear missiles launched. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I seem to remember uh, that, that there was underground tests of, yeah, of nuclear. Launched nuclear missiles or nu nuclear bombs well we do those are, we do we, we do those ourselves and i don't think i don't think there were that many under under obama but he stopped it under trump no trump didn't stop shit he didn't stop no it. kim jong un stopped it under trump oh no he didn't no he didn't there was no uh uh there, there were all those tests had stopped uh no they kept trump going they kept they actually it. kept going on they well, when Trump kept, started yeah. negotiating with him, that's when they stopped. He kept saying, oh, bullshit. Uh, they didn't no stop. He had this agreement with Trump, and he never uh, did anything with that agreement. All he did was laugh at Trump about it. Isn't it, uh, isn't it so. interesting the mythical world that Phil lives in? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know. Pull back our fleet from, from the if, ocean. If, if he can't win an argument, he'll win it by lying. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, that's, that's what Biden does. Way. No, that's what Trump did. <laughs> Yeah, I mean Trump. Well, no, I, I I believe Trump, you know, I, and I don't want to. I don't want to call look, Biden. Look, look, I don't want to call all Biden I'm, a liar. All, all I'm, I'm not, saying I'm not is going there. that Trump is probably one of the most immoral human beings we've ever elected to office. That's a possibility. Even even for dog catcher. Well, okay, I, you know, as far as the Biden thing, I'm not going to go to that uh, level where I you am call not. Him names. I, I am not a big. A guy for uh, for uh, Biden, I, you know, I think he's done a terrible job so far. I wish he would do better because it, may, it gives people like you fodder for what you're saying. But uh, nonetheless, certainly, if we had Trump back right now, he would not be doing anything to solve this problem. And and your we gas wouldn't have prices been would still be high, Tony, and your cherries would still be at five dollars. Okay. Oh, they're thirteen. Tony, right? Yeah, well, I, I went yeah, to the uh, grocery store. What are you today, paying? Too. What are you paying to go to Costco? You paying more each time oh, now? Yeah. Alex? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. All right. I know, I know. Hey, but anyway, that's a discussion for another day. You might all try calling back again tomorrow, and we can continue this conversation because, right. and we as long as Tony has come out of the closet, yeah, we, uh, we, we had trouble. <laughs> we had trouble. Um, uh, uh, getting on tonight, but wait, this discussion's been fun. Anyway, everybody, All right. give a big go. You guys you, enjoy. Yes, yeah. thank you, Phil. Thank you, right. uh, Jeff, for being here. Thank you, Alan. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Tony. Thank you, Charlie. And thanks to Matt, I think, tried to call. A bunch of other people were trying to call, and I just wasn't taking the calls because I was too busy trying to get this thing to work. Anyway, give a big wave goodbye. I'll give a big wave goodbye at you. Okay. And uh, there we go, folks. There goes our citizen panel. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Anyway, that's it for tonight. Jack Bishop is next with The Intersection. I'll see you again tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. Good night. Hmm. Press the button here.